Hi, I'm Dave Blanchard, the CEO of the Augmandino Group. I'm here on a mission this morning. I want to know if in the last 24 to 48 hours, you have actually thought these thoughts. I am meant to do so much more with my life. I'm meant to create these dreams. I know I am. I've seen the other rim of the canyon. I'm standing on this rim. I just don't know how to build this bridge to the other side. Have you been there? I remember my darkest night, 1992. Million dollars in debt and a million dollar life insurance policy. And I'm not going to tell you how close I came. But I'll tell you the next morning when I awoke, I was angry. Are you angry? Are you finally ready? I cried out, I longed to cry to the God of my youth, but the God of my youth will not hear my cry. I must change my God or change my cry. I've been driven by the answers I received over the next eight years and a promise that I would spend the rest of my life teaching people how to do this. But some aren't ready. They still want to believe there's a fantasy fairy that will magically manifest their wishes if they just visualize them with enough intention. There are those that still are waiting for a white knight to rescue them to put magical money on their front porch. There are even those in the marketplace who would want you to believe that's possible. And there's one consistent result among those people's adherents, and that is they're broke and they're broken and they are angry. Are you there yet? Are you asking these questions? I can almost touch it, I can almost taste it. Why can't I have it? What's wrong with me? Does God not love me? Could it be, could it be that you've been exercising a cry that does not create a result? And are you finally emotionally broken, a broken heart, a contrite spirit, teachable, open, willing? Because I've dedicated my life to sharing these principles with those who are finally ready to hear. Are you there? Because I want to dissect this for you and encourage you to maybe take a little different trajectory, a little different direction. And in so doing, discover how to create concrete, tangible reality. We often joke about, it's kind of fun, but it's pretty poignant real money in a real bank account with which to buy a real couch. No more fantasy Ferraris. The real deal. No longer spending time in our mind living out scenarios that will never come to pass versus living in tangible reality in those scenarios having created our dreams. You see, we're supposed to want more. We're supposed to want more. It's okay. First challenge, we often want more of someone else's life. Here I am with my clay, my life, my circumstances, my current bank account, debts, relationships, career path, my current life. And it's like we're like over here and over here and we want to be someone else, somewhere else doing something different. No, we start right here, right here. So number one, oh, Dave, but I don't want this. You don't have any idea what my clay looks like. I know what it's like to have everything 
lose everything financially. My relationship with Ramona has been rock solid through the whole process. I am so deeply grateful for that piece. But everything else was gone. And then rebuilding back. I know what this feels like. But I promise to you, if you go, uh, really, I got to own my own clay. Yes, that's a starter. Now I'm choosing me. Now. I go into my heart and my soul, and I ask the second question. Do I just want life to be easier and less stressful? Are my thoughts about all my problems are solved and traveling the beaches of the world or being out of debt and no more, is that where I spend my time? Because there are too many influences in our society that would encourage us to do this. And most independent entrepreneurial minds have a gift to vividly visualize at a very high level. And when that's our secret desire, or we're sold that secret desire, we're going to use our gift of vivid visualization in a way that is so destructive we're going to have norepinephrine coursing through our body. It's a euphoric drug. Wow. Life shows up differently. Cortisol. <sighs> Fear dendrites shutting down our prefrontal cortex. Emotionally paralyzed. High emotional highs, low emotional lows. Dark dungeon of despair and discouragement. An awful place. If you choose that path, but Dave, doesn't everybody want it to be a little easier? In this way, a creator, someone who actually wants to live their dreams, not just fantasize about their dreams, wants to acquire the ability to handle the increased levels of responsibility that come with success with greater levels of ease. That which used to crush them for days they now handle five of them by eight o'clock in the morning. No big deal. Same circumstances, different level of ability to handle it with greater levels of ease. That's the ease we seek. So the question is, have my secret desires been an easier life? Because if they have been, you now know one of the major reasons why your dreams are not being created. Not owning your clay and seeking for something that does not exist on this planet. Does not exist. Number three, I'm going to want to find a dream that I intrinsically value. I wrote extensively about this in Equanimity, Conquering Mount Entrepreneur. Four tests. One, I can't stop thinking about it. Not fantasizing, thinking about how to create it, having that idea ignite my brain, even parts that are dormant in a human being, like my passion and working without counting the cost or tracking the time. When we're in fantasy, that work is boring, mundane, burdensome, repetitive, and hard. When we're using our mind to get inspired ideas, the work is passion-driven. And notice the second difference in making this decision. Here I want ease. The work is hard. Here I want to believe that visualization actually creates tangible reality. Here I understand the gift of visualization is simply to give me an inspired idea sufficient to ignite my passion so that I have passion to support the work that's required to create the dream. See the difference? So now my desire is not ease, it's to engage, to embrace the obstacles as they come, whatever it takes, break through them, learn from them, connect, serve, create value, contribute. I wanna be alive. I wanna actually create these dreams. I get these inspired ideas and, and Interestingly, 
We are built physiologically for what I'm sharing with you. We are not built for fantasy. We're actually spanked when we go into fantasy. Norepinephrine, cortisol, emotional distress. We get spanked when we use it this way. Our gift of visualization to go into the future and play out scenarios about what it'll be like after, when we use it to see it clearly, and then get inspired ideas about how to create it, we get it passion. So we find that thing which we can't stop thinking about and getting inspired ideas about how to create. It encourages, it adds to our courage to stretch and grow and become. Yes, we want to acquire new levels of ability to handle those ever-increasing levels of responsibility with greater levels of ease. We probably can't create that dream thinking like we're thinking right now. So we want to become aware of our habits of thinking and very consciously target those good habits and maximize them, target those unhealthy habits and change them and take those wild fire hoses that are unattended, fully charged, and walk out on the end of them and point them in specific directions. We want to stretch and grow, overcome our fear and our doubt, take those things on. The dream's not intrinsically valued we want we want to foster abundance which means we want to share with others what we create and as importantly just like i'm doing with you today we want so badly to share with others how to do it so they too can have that experience now Number four, this is a major shift. I'll do my very best to explain it. You see, when we're in fantasy, we just want the thing. Because we're focused on what we'll do with it after we get it. When we learn how to create, we're excited about the thing. No question. But we could become equally excited about the very process of creation. What do I mean by that? As we use our gift to vividly visualize, to get an inspired idea, it ignites our passion, we act on it, and we create something we did not have. Remember, this is a worthy dream. It's helping us become a better person, external stimulus to cause us to improve internally. We're using our improvement to better connect with and serve other people. We're using the resources that are generated to bless lives. This is a worthy dream. Get the inspired idea that ignites our passion. We take the action. We create something we did not have. And watch this. We begin to trust the source of our seeing. Hmm. We begin to act on these little inspired ideas as if they were urgent assignments, because they are. We really want to create that. We want to become a better person. We want to serve humanity, create value with other people's lives. We want to contribute. We have just engaged an extremely powerful process because you will get inspired ideas, intuitive impressions, creative solutions. If I do wired to a functional MRI, we could actually watch your brain ignite when you get one. And when you create it and you have created something, we create and celebrate, then create and celebrate, create and celebrate. We fall in love with the journey of creating as much as we do the creation. And when this happens, you can create anything that's worthy. We see it, 
We get excited. Hog says, I keep my eyes on the goal above my head. I ignore the obstacles at my feet where dry desert ends, green grass grows. We know we can get there, but we keep persisting. So we wake up in the morning and we get a vision for our day. Not for the big one, a vision just for the day. We choose three activities that will move us one step closer to the bigger vision. That's our vision for the day, how to move one step closer. Then we pour all of our energy into those three moments. We call them power sessions. When we're done, we know we've done all that we can do. We can sleep like a baby. No matter how big the firestorm is, we have act equanimity, peace of mind. Now, next morning we awake, we see the big vision. What's our vision for today to move that one step closer? I have a vision. Did you know what we're doing right now is part of my vision for today and the first activity on that list to move that vision one step closer of helping people learn how to actually create by talking about it. Here we are. Thank you for being here. Vision for the day. Three activities. Execute, create, celebrate. Create, celebrate. We're taking our clay, our life circumstances, not something we don't have, something we do have, and we're creating the most we can with it in a very structured, driven way. And we're embracing the structure because it supports us in creating our dream. And we're taking those steps each day and creating more. And guess what happens? Last item, number five. You're given more clay. Given more clay. But there is no power for good in the universe who's going to give you more of something you do not want. Take your circumstances. Get the vision. We're supposed to want those visions. We're supposed to want to stretch and grow and become the best version of ourselves. And I promise you that when you're in this process, in love with a daily vision and the actions to move it one step closer, and you start falling in love with the actual creative process, as much as you are with what you're creating, you're given more clay. It's the law of abundance. That's how abundance works. Understanding what I'm saying? Yeah, we go over here and fantasize, wanting life to be abundant and to be easier and less stressful. Can we see how this cry may have led to our current circumstances and our anger? Now, if the last 24 to 24 hours, 48 hours, you didn't ask those questions, this may not be relevant. But if in the fibers of your being, you're crying out, here are the steps. Take that clay. What's your secret desire, Ben? Let's make the shift. Let's use this gift to get an inspired idea, to ignite passion, to drive action. Let's get a dream that's a worthy dream by the test that are in equanimity. Let's get the dream. Then let's fall in love with the creative process as much as we are with the thing we're creating. You want joy in your life? By the way, it's not free of firestorms. Just so you know, it's never free of firestorms. It's part of the deal. I had one this week. And I went, oh my goodness. What do I need to learn from this experience to prepare me for a coaching client in the next two weeks who's going to need me to be acutely aware of what this feels like? I had a fun way to approach a problem. It resolved itself yesterday. It was beautiful. But for a couple of days, could have been a firestorm, could have buried me. No. I want to engage. Do you want to engage? Do you want to break through those experiences and learn and grow and stretch and become? That's why we're in business. That's the Og Mandino Leadership Institute. We want to give you a free assessment, habitfinder.com. Go to it, habitfinder.com. 
find out which habits of thinking are not supporting this, that are driving you into this, then let us help you get a tool based on your current circumstances as much as you possibly can get to assist you in this process. And if possible, even get you in, in connection with one of our great coaches to walk by your side, someone who's been on this journey, who knows the glue buckets and the potholes, can help you get to that next level quicker. Is it time? Is it time? Is it time to change the cry? Are you feeling broke, broken and angry, frustrated? Don't need to any longer. But sometimes it requires that we get here to finally be willing to let go of ease and less stress and actually engage in life. Let us assist you and start by going to habitfinder.com. It's a very simple process. In 20 minutes, you get your results. We give them to you. You can go through them. You can click on a button and say, please help me, and we'll have somebody call you and help you. This is our mission to turn you into a creator because we know that's where the joy is. That's where the equanimity is, the peace of mind. That's when life becomes really meaningful. The world is waiting for you. You have natural gifting. Your current circumstances may cause you to not be able to see it, but you'll see it in your assessment. Let us show you how to unleash it and become a creator. And in doing so, actually create your dreams in tangible reality. Thank you so much for your time this morning. May this bless your life.